This week in episode 34 of the Electric Sama project, we continue our work on our custom 18650 battery modules. Charger. After a little bit of fun last week with the Samba on the racetrack, it's time to get back to work on our battery modules. Today we are going to work on our second module, the one that we last saw on episode 29. The difference of this module and the first one is of course the Tesla style cell level fuses. The wire I tested and chose for the job proved to slowly burn up at 6 amps, which is slightly above the amperage each cell will see under normal operation, pushing the Samba around. The problem is that there might not be enough headroom. But if we do the math, 6 amps times 150 cells equals 900 amps. So in theory, you would have to demand 900 amps for about 10 seconds out of this module before you would start seeing fuses glow orange. Of course, my Curtis controller is rated at 650 amps, but I've seen my instrumentation show a maximum draw more towards the 680 to 690 mark. Even then, that's still a whole 200 amps of headroom on an event that rarely happens, and when it does, it's only sustained for a few seconds. So to find out if this 6 amp fuse wire is right for the job, I figured that it's a lot more fun to test it out in real life than to sit here and try to imagine and formulate what could happen if we were to try it out. So today's first task will be to finish the second module. The cathode side, the side with the fuses, is pretty much done as we finished wiring that a few weeks ago. Certain viewers made fun of me after watching the episode saying that I was wearing all these cell fuses in a matrix. Of course the reality is that I'm using strips of copper to collect all the current from all the cell fuses and send it to bigger copper bus bars that will then serve as the battery terminal. It's pretty much the same design as the first module minus the fuses. So to finish this module, we will have to wire the anode side. On this side, we will not be using fuses as we don't need that kind of redundancy. So let's get started. Hi guys, so today we are here at the, uh, this is a Jack 35 offices here and I kind of set up my little workstation here with chargers and batteries and stuff. And today we are gonna finish our second module that's right the one that has all the tesla fuse uh tesla style fuses on it so uh, we have the one side to do because if you guys remember a few weeks ago i kind of finished up this side which is the one that's got all the uh little fuses on here so today what we have to do is finish up the other side and then um, install it in our Samba and take it out for a drive just to see how it does if it actually you know if it actually works if so what we're gonna do here now that we have our things bent up like this we're gonna put them here this is where they're gonna go here's our big bus bar Of course, we need a torch to heat up such a big chunk of copper. Now that we have all this soldered up, now we're gonna have to just start putting solder in all these batteries.
Alright, so here it is, finally, the finished module. It's got the two bus bars, the negative, the positive. Uh, they are glued to these cells here so they don't move. Um, so they're pretty rigid. Uh, and they're all connected to these um, strips of copper which then connect to each cell via the uh, little tiny little uh, cell fuses. Um, it's ready to go. I think we're now we're just going to plug it in to uh, charge it. Alright, so we just use these uh, cables here with this little plug in that is all for RC stuff. Um, and now we're going to put this module to charge just to top it off so it's nice and charged before we take it out on the road. So charge rate 40 amps. Let's see um, if it'll how much it'll give us in. Discharge rate 1 amp. I don't need to discharge it. So start charge only. Checking pack. Confirm. Charging. All right, so it's charging. So it's charging at about 29 amps. 28.7. So we'll leave it there until it's charged. So now it's time to install it. Ready to test this thing up. It's uh, ready to go. It's installed. I have a camera back there uh, looking at the uh, voltage to see how much it sags. Voltage sag is an important thing that I want to test out. And so, right now we're just gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up my my two dogs, and then we're gonna go. Um, we're going to do about a 7 mile, which is about 15 mile round trip to uh, the dog park. I haven't take, taken my dogs to the park in a while, so I figure I test the battery and take my dogs to the park. Alright boys. There's a very long steep hill ahead of me and this is where I like to push it.
So thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure to catch next week's episode for more electric samba adventures. Until next week. Lost our wheel right here. Folks, if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and join the conversation down below by leaving a comment. Uh, if you don't, then also leave me a comment so I can make these videos better. Thank you.